Okay, we're going to be reviewing for these uh, exam, the trig ratio exam. So I'm going to go ahead and do the odd numbers. Uh, so it says in triangle ABC, angle A is a right angle, angle B is 45. So this is 45. Now remember that's 45, this is 90, then this one is also 45. Find BC. If your answer is not an integer, leave it in radical form. So we've got to find BC. Remember that these two angles are 45. So this is 11 feet. And remember the uh, pattern that occurs with a 45, 45, 90 right triangle? It's going to be the leg times the square root of 2. And that's going to be your answer. For number 3, it says... Use a trig ratio to find the values of y, y, and x. So remember the mnemonic statement, sine is opposite of hypotenuse, which is so. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So what we're going to use is we're going to use sine since we have the opposite. And since we're looking for the hypotenuse, so we're going to have sine of 30 degrees equals the opposite side, which is 18, over the hypotenuse, which is y. You're going to make this into a, into a fraction. Remember, in order for us to solve for y, we have to cross multiply. So 18 times 1 gives you 18. And we have y times a sine of 30 degrees. Next, you divide by what you're multiplying by y, so you're going to multiply by sine of 30 degrees, sine of 30 degrees. So before we do any calculation, make sure that your settings is correct. Make sure that your document settings is it's in degrees, angles is degrees. So now to find the y value, I'm going to get 18. And I'm going to divide, and then you're going to go to trig, the sine of 30. And your answer is 36. So this is 36. We're not done. Now we've got to find x. So which one uses opposite, and this is the adjacent. So which one uses opposite and the adjacent? In this case, it's going to be tangent. So we have tangent of 30 degrees is opposite, which is 18, over the adjacent, which is now we have to cross multiply 18 times 1 gives you 18 and then we have x times the tangent of 30 degrees and since we have x being multiplied by tangent of 30 we have to divide both sides by tangent of 30. so let's go ahead and go to our calculator and so we have 18 divided by trig tangent and you get 31 Point seventeen, so I'm just going to say 31, so x equals 31. And remember, there's it isn't degrees, it's just... So it's really important that you remember your mnemonic statement, sine, opposite of hypotenuse, cosine, adjacent of hypotenuse, and tangent. Number five, use a trig ratio to find x. And x here is the adjacent is the adjacent side to 60 and 9 is the opposite. So you have to remember your mnemonic statement so ka toa so opposite over adjacent will be tangent tangent of 60 is opposite over adjacent. So now we need to make this into a fraction. And remember, in order for us to solve this proportion, you have to cross multiply. So you have 1 times 9 gives you 9. x times the tangent of 60 degrees. And since you're multiplying x times tangent, you want to go ahead 
and do what we say the opposite of that, which is, more, is divide, division. So we have 9 divided by the tangent of 60. And that's going to give you the x value or the adjacent measurement. So now we have 9 divided by trig tangent. So it says round to the nearest tenth. So it's 5.2. So the adjacent measurement is 5. What is the description of angle 1 as it relates to the situation? Remember that angle 1 is below the horizontal. So any of these that have depression would be correct. So it either is B or C. Angle 1 is the angle of depression from the radar tower to the airplane. Or is the angle of depression from the airplane to the radar. I would say the airplane to the radar, so the answer is C. So if it's below, that's angle of depression. If it's above the horizontal, then that's angle of elevation. So you, have, you either have angle of depression or angle of elevation based upon as you compare to the horizontal line. A large totem pole in the state of Washington is 100 feet tall. At a particular time of day, the totem pole casts a 249 long shadow. Find angle A. So here's angle A. And opposite of angle A is 100 feet. And then adjacent to angle A is 249. So which of these three will use opposite and adjacent? In this case, it's going to be tangent of A. Remember that sine, cosine, and tangent are just ratios. So we have the opposite, which is 100 feet, and the adjacent is 249 feet. So in order for you to find the angle, given the ratio, you're going to use the inverse, the inverse of the ratio. Now you might be asking, where do you find that? Well, you come over here to this calculator, press trig, inverse tangent, and you're going to type in 100 divided by 249. So now you're taking in the, the ratio. And the angle comes out and wants the nearest degree. So it's going to be angle A is going to be 22 degrees. That little circle means degrees. Find the value of X round to the nearest tenth. Remember that 40 is the angle of depression. But here we have a line that is parallel to this line. What do we know about these two angles? They are congruent because these are alternate interior angles. This is your opposite. And this x is your hypotenuse. So once again, you need to determine which of these trig ratios you're going to use. So the only one that's appropriate is sine. So we have the sine of 40 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is 500, over x. And I know it's meters. Make this into a ratio. And then you're going to solve this proportion by multiplying across, cross multiplying. 1 times 500 is 500 meters. And we have x times the sine of 40 degrees. Next, you divide both sides since you're multiplying times x times the sine of 40. Sine of 40. So we're going to come over here to the calculator. And we have 500 divided by the sine, the sine of 40. Enter. And so the length of the hypotenuse to the nearest tenth is 700 and 78 meters.